Hello everybody, my name is this man. Welcome back to another video. Today I am doing a food challenge. I am eating three of these um, popcorn chicken chicken containers. I gotta eat. I gotta finish this in seven minutes. So, um, also I'm letting you guys know I am also doing a chug on this video too. I'm I'm doing a food challenge and a chug challenge. So. I also just now got requested to chug some cream soda from Sprecker. And uh, on this video, later on, I'm going to be chugging some Lemonade Prime. So, And I decided when I'm also doing uh, videos of me with, with, when I do the 45 days challenge, when I do 45 days in 2024, I'm also just going to throw on some random videos that I think was the best in my opinion. And in some other people's opinions, like I'll throw it in, but... I'm also going to eventually make a video of me eating three of these in a minute. And I already know that's not going to be easy. And it only starts once you open these, but... Oh my god. I dropped my camera. I was trying to throw it in the in the box over here, but that didn't work out well. Oh well. So. Oh jeez. Okay. Let me. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Good enough. We're fine. Okay. Let's get this started now. Okay. Here we go. I don't think this tower malfunction is from storm damage. I need to set up a crime scene and find out what happened. I should start by identifying the victim. The victim's name is David Shannon, a Gotham Optics employee sent here to repair a faulty network tower. But what killed him? Scanning the DNA impact on the wall should provide an answer. Analysis indicates the victim was killed by some kind of explosion originating at that access panel. I should scan it for additional clues. It looks like the panel was rigged to detonate when swiped with a key card. Someone really didn't want this tower repaired, and it looks like that same someone left a set of fingerprints behind. Alfred, I'm uploading some prints for analysis. <clears throat> Let me know what comes back. Certainly, sir. Searching now. And here we are. They belong to one John F. Baker. He's a rather oh. unremarkable criminal. Small jobs, mostly. And they... Hmm. That's curious. What's curious? Mr. Baker's dead, <coughs> sir. His body was recovered from the Diamond District just under an hour ago. Looks like someone's tying up loose ends. I can bypass the booby-trapped access panel with my cryptographic sequencer, but I'll need the encryption codes from the victim's access card. Reviewing the crime scene will show me where it is. This crime. 
crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The male victim is wearing a black mask, but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis. Something I can't do in the field. I can identify the female victim based on her fingerprints. Tiffany Ambrose, Roman Sionis' girlfriend. Or one of them, at least. She was no angel. Long list of priors. But nothing to indicate she was the target here. The fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. It may have been intended to destroy evidence. trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. But the grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. This bullet was fired from a revolver. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The shooter could have been someone of Penguin's height. But the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. These fingerprints are a match for the penguin, but they're on top of the soot from the fire. The cops were right. Penguin was in the room, but these prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, who did? The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? These white streaks are shoe polish. Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room. Tiffany's shooter, and whoever was dragging the shooter. The location from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. The DNA here doesn't belong to either of the victims. Whose is it? The fight broke out when someone startled the shooter. It's not clear who won the fight. Could have been either one of them. I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter. Fabric analysis indicates the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues. This DNA is from the female victim. The level of oxidation suggests it's been here for several days. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. She was sending text messages to Roman Sionis about someone named the Joker. Someone killed Black Mask, but this crime took place several days ago. And I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. The only answers I have raise more questions. Who is the Joker? Was he the killer here? Or is he one of the assassins? I have a body, an unknown shooter, and an un- I almost finished, but... Israel is at war. In an unprovoked murder- <clears throat> Known assailant who attacked the shooter. I need to match the DNA samples against the records in the National Criminal Database to identify who was in the room. I'm gonna just say mission accomplished because I did the best I could. Sorry to intrude, sir, but I'm receiving reports about a disturbance nearby. I'm sending the coordinates to your map. You may wish to investigate.
for this. I need to set up a crime scene to find out who. The helicopter was spinning out of control. The pilot was killed on impact, not from the gunshot I heard. But what caused him to lose control? Maybe I can learn more back on the rooftop. Don't go with that. For me, the things are not for sure. I can analyze the first point of impact from here. tail rotor was severed when the fuselage hit the building. I should review the crime scene and find that tail rotor. I'm going to get ready for the live stream. I'm going to do a live stream first. Then I'm going to do the tail rotor. The helicopter crashed when a high-powered round shattered the tail rotor. Ballistics analysis will lead me to the shooter's position. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I'm sorry. I'm. I know I'm in a different shirt and I have my glasses off now. But we got done with the food challenge. I'm sorry. This video has actually taken me two days to actually finish. I'm on the second day already. But so let's do the chug, and the chug I'm chugging is lemonade prime. I'm only chugging this, and then tomorrow, if I have enough time, I'm going to chug some cream, Sprecker cream soda, and then the next day, I'm probably going to chug orange Fanta. So, here we go, guys. Enough, not, not, too, not, do not talk too much. Let's do this. I love the Lemonade Prime. It's crazy. I did a poll on these two on the Lemonade and Strawberry Watermelon for the chug, for a chug. Which one should I chug? Let's fill it up all the way. Alrighty then, guys. So let's do this. Victory. Ugh. Get ready for the next joke tomorrow, guys. Or whenever I have the time to do it next. But also still still stink. Still stand by for the next food challenge. Which is um Still these, and probably, and probably if I manage to pull pull off my gameplay tomorrow with Lego Batman the video game, I'm probably gonna be probably gonna be cooking myself a maybe a bowl either a bowl of mac and cheese to, for dinner or a, or some pizza, but I may say pizza for for the. Or after Lego Batman 3, probably. Because why not? Because after that, then we got to do Mario Party DS. But anyways, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, put a comment, and subscribe. And sorry that this took two days to finish. But as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Hasta la vista, baby.